So in part three of today's lecture, I will talk about uh, this uh, most simple approach or most intuitive at least approach to uh, reinforcement learning call, called policy gradients. So uh, actually the AlphaGo system where we uh, learned uh, the reinforcement learning policy network is an example of a policy gradient approach. So for, for, for the Go game, we have this situation that we only get a reward when the game terminates. So all the steps up to capital T where the game terminates, the reward is zero. So this is like a formal uh, illustration of this. So, so let me, in the next uh, slide, go through the theory uh, a little bit on this policy gradient algorithm. And I'll use more or less the notation that we have uh, been introduced to from uh, the AlphaGo uh, paper. So the details of the policy gradient approach. So we have made a model for the policy network. So this model is this conditional distribution of our actions given the state. So it's a stochastic model, right? It has parameters theta. You can imagine, for example, that we implement the policy network as a deep neural network and theta are now uh, theta is now the parameters in this deep network. Now we can s we imagine that we have uh, implemented, for example, a Go in a computer, so we can actually simulate games. So we can we can uh, let our network play games, and then we can uh, we can calculate uh, uh, the reward during the game, and we can. We can record also all the states, of course, and all the actions. And we can do that many times, and then we can get uh, an, an estimate of the expected cumulative reward, which formally is an integral or an average over of the, uh, of the cumulative reward uh, over all possible ways to uh, take actions according to our policy network. So if we want to, when we take this expression, of course, what we want to do is that we want to maximize our expected uh, cumulative reward. So we can do that by a gradient uh, method, because now we assume that we have, for example, parameters in a neural network, so they are differentiable. So we take the gradient now of, the, of this uh, policy network, and we can write that with a little bit of algebra. We can write that as uh, the probability itself times the, gra uh, the gradient of the log of the probability. So this means now that we can actually express the, uh, expect the gradient of the expected uh, reward as an expectation over the, uh, the gradient of the log probability times the reward. And this is nice because now we can actually take an, uh, an integral, an average, and replace that by a, a, a sample average, right? So if we have S rollouts of the game, then we can actually write the gradient, the estimate of the gradient of the, cumul of the expected uh, cumulative reward in terms of the formula at the bottom. <coughs> So you can see, in principle, it's very easy. We take the reward, which is, could be, for example, the reward we had for from, from the AlphaGo. So it's a plus or minus one, depending of, of whether we win or, or lose. And then we multiply that by the gradient of the log of these probabilities of the different actions. So that's essentially the algorithm that uh, DeepMind used to learn their uh, policy, their reinforcement learning policy. There's a small caveat with, the, with this uh, equation. It's pretty easy to show that this uh, gradient uh, estimator has a very high variance, but luckily we can, we can actually correct for this because we can, we can uh, show that we can actually subtract a function uh, in the gradient estimator and then uh, we can use this uh, arbitrary function to uh, minimize uh, the variance of our estimate. And this helps us on stability. 
I could I, I when I read the uh, deep mind paper, I could not see any reference to uh, whether they actually needed this for their approach. But it is doable, and it's well established that you can do this. So this concluded uh, our theory part on reinforcement learning. Now I will finish with a few final words on deep learning.